Hello, this is Jenna Lynn Roberts with Present Path Tarot, and today I'm showing you the Fable Makers animated tarot deck by Kami Ariopagita and Misty Bourne. I hope I got that first name right. It comes in a in a box with the book, and um, you yeah, know it's a box, and there's a book on the inside that is written by Misty Bourne. And the book itself is glossy pages. It has details of how to read the cards on the inside, which is nice, as well as um, how to prepare the space, what is the minor arcana. So it's a, it's a guide that goes beyond most guides of just the meanings of the cards. The major arcana have full explanations. Well, full. <laughs> There's never a full. You could write a book about each major arcana. But the minor arcana are very simple and more of like a cheat sheet type style. Very simple. So, it's a nice book, it's glossy, it's big, and it gives more details than most books like that. Here's the thing, y'all. This deck is this big, because it's a plastic deck. Now, I also have the Transparent Tarot, and the Transparent Tarot is also a large deck, but it's not as thick as this, so this is quite a thick deck. Once it's all together, it comes in two parts. One of these has just like a thank you for purchasing sort of thing, but it also has explanation that you have a you you could get a protective film they have a protective film on them okay good so there is a protective film on each card and you can peel it away oh my gosh okay they're made from a plastic material it's good for them to get sleeved and this is the fun part the tilt to animate effect so each of the decks has one of those on it and it has a little protective sleeve this is why i ran out and bought this deck oh what Ah! So it has the ability to animate. Now, I'll show you at the end. I'll take the protective film off one of them, although really, do I have to? Gosh, I kind of like the protective film because the card looks good. I feel like what's going to happen is the protective film is going to wear away, and then you're going to want to take it off. But I think I'm going to leave it on for a little while. That's what I do with my oven. Why not my deck? So I'm here to animate each of these. Oh, I love it so much. The four elements are all moving. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I love it. I'm a big animation nerd. So the leaves falling behind the veil. Oh my gosh. I, I'm an animation nerd. I like the art style of this deck. It's simple and bright and colorful. You can make connections, too, like, you know, the High Priestess has leaves falling. Let me get that a little closer so you can see. And then the Empress has leaves falling, so you can get a sense of, like, okay, those both represent femininity. <clears throat> so because they're reflective, they reflect even the light of my camera, which I'm going to fix right now and come back. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so here I am back. I've covered the red light on my camera that this is reflecting because of the plastic, but you need light around to really get a sense of this glimmer of this orb over here um, and his staff. Um, ooh -hoo! Oh, <laughs> look at that Hierophant card. Wow. Really stunning. Okay, so some of them are a little harder to see, but if you notice, the green on the bottom is moving, and the flames are moving, but not the apples. So there's something to kind of be aware of. Some are more subtle than others. I mean, the Hierophant is, like, super not subtle, and then the Lovers become subtle, which you could add into your readings as part of the messaging of the card, if you want. I mean, it's part of the symbology now. Here's the chariot card with the animals moving, which I love because movement is a part of the chariot card and his cape is moving in the wind. So good. Ooh. I'm giddy. To, I'm definitely reading this deck for my clients. This is going to delight them. And that tail is moving and she's petting his head. So sweet. What is Okay, so here it's like clouds are passing and his lantern is moving. It's got a very Doctor Strange kind of vibe on his lantern, which is very Hermit card, frankly. They split the Major Arcana between the two decks, so I had to come here. So we have the Justice card, her hair breezing in the wind, her cape, the, the, the wall behind her, the cover behind her breathing. Very nice. And 
the hanged man has wind blowing in the background and he's swaying side to side. Very cool. And the death card. Let me do the thing. So the sun is moving in the background, but the death and the way the flag is waving, and it does have the traditional white rose on it, which is what the fool is holding in his hand as he's exiting in the beginning of his journey. Temperance card, the waves of, or sorry, the wings are swaying in the wind there, and there is water moving between the two cups, and the foot looks like it's creating a ripple in the water. Let's see, where are we going? What's happening here? Okay, this one's a subtle one. The flame is moving, and he's breathing air out his nose, and the tails of the humans beneath, oh, they're bowing to him a little bit. I see. It's kind of hard to catch at first sometimes, some of them. Tower card. No, yes! I gotta say, the white light effect that some of the cards have on the Hierophant and the Tower are... Just truly spectacular. And I like how the it looks like a face that's freaking out on the tower. Very nicely done. I'm really impressed at how much they did with the simple symbolism. So the water is pouring from the vessels and the This is it's it's hard because these pick up any light from the background and yet you need light to make them work. So it's it's a hard thing to make a video of, y'all. Oh, yes, the wolves are yipping together at the moon that's changing through phases. Oh my gosh, the crawdad in the water has water reflecting. Wow, great card. And he's petting the horse, the little boy is petting the horse. Beautiful, great colors, really bright, vibrant colors. Lovely judgment. Light shining down from above, the light's moving, there's a wave beneath his arms. Great. And the world card, oh lovely, has like a DNA strand almost whipping, whipping around her body. So I believe it's seven uh, stop motion basically, right? There's seven shots that it's able to move through, I believe. So we're going into, let's go for cups. Nice. Nice. So there's water dripping down here, and the bird is moving its wings. Sunlight in the background moving. Cheersing. Ah! Oh. It's so fun. It's so fun. I'm grateful to see some variety of races represented as well in this deck. It's my preference. So what's happening here with his disappointment? Oh, it's just the cloud moving and there's a glimmer over the cups. Pretty subtle. Five of cups. His, his, his cape is moving. Okay. Nice, there's blossoms blossoming in the cups and there's a wind moving through. Very nice. Clouds are moving around the cups. Hair is moving. Hmm. So the, the cape is moving. Obviously they couldn't do very, and, and the, the moon is glimmering in the background, there's some shininess in the water. Obviously it was hard for them to do really deep, because it has to be something that can move normally back and forth. They couldn't make legs move and things like that, I can see how that would be too much. They're using great symbolism from the original deck though, rainbow glimmer, kids playing. They did a great job with the kids playing for that type of movement, that looks wonderful. And it's really following the traditional cards. Here's the page of chalices. So we have a lot of moving fabrics and a lot of glimmering stars <laughs> and a lot of moving water. Um, subtle, but the ones that are really impressive is when they really get that light moving. Where is, what is moving here? I don't even see it. Do you see it? Let's see. 
Okay, so it's just the water washing up on the shore. All right, some are a little bit subtle. And this one, the water is moving more dramatically, which fits for the King of Cups. Coins, woo! Ooh, dazzling, dazzling. Very fun. Nice. And we have definitely a color theme happening. We're getting into green. Green and blue is the water color and green is the cups, the coins color. Very fitting. And very traditional images here um, from the writer Waite Smith. Very similar postures to the originals, which I like. Oh, and I see, you know, his arms are moving side to side a little bit. That's great. So he's really, really hugging on that coin. Mmm, the wind moving through, snow falling, great. Six of coins, the coins in the hand are glimmering and turning. Nice, they, really it's lovely deck. Um, obviously he's going to hammer on that that pentacle right there. Nice. So, you know, the decks are also kind of showing similar things. Coins turning is our theme on this one. Oh, but the dog's tails are wagging, which is a nice touch. So I like how the, how the, how the uh, flowers are moving in this one is really beautiful. Some good hair movement and leaves happening there. A lot of movement in this one. Beautiful. I'm easy on, I mean, it's such a unique, different deck. I've never seen anything like it. Love that bunny bouncing in the side. Beep, 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 beep. Um, I, I'm, I'm not much of a critic of something that's so original and so new, and yet they're also still following traditional images. I super appreciate that. So there's... Those two suits. We have two suits left. Also, the backs of the cards. I think they're beautiful. Lovely. Good colors. So we're going into the swords. So nice because swords represent air, which represent, you know, represents the mind. And I appreciate that the crown is moving to represent the mind, and the air is moving with the sword. So we have a lot of great symbolic references in that one. Wind blowing through. Nice. Oh, oh, look, they gave me two Four of Swords by accident. Well, there you have it. Now I have an extra Four of Swords. <laughs> okay. Five of Swords. Nice. And, you know, Again, the posturing is very similar to Rider Waite Smith, so this could be a good learning deck if you want a fancy, fun learning deck. Um, even though the symbology is slightly more simple because it, not that much. They did a good job. Movement along water, very good. Let's see. What is happening here? Just his jacket's moving and the swords are shining. Subtle. Cool. So the wind and the air is a good extra for this particular... Oh wow, okay, this is really neat. Look at the bottom there. A man is stabbing another man. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's hard to get... You can't do lighting with this but not reflect everything. It's very hard for this video. Look at he's stabbing the shadows in the bottom. That's fantastic. I really like that a lot. And the swords have a little glimmer in them. Yeah, it's hard. Every light in the room is going to get captured. Swords are glimmering and the sun in the back is moving. Great movement on that one. A lot of good movement. Yep. Postures are all the same as the originals. That's really great for learners. So what's happening with him? His crown is glimmering? Okay. 
and the birds in the background are flying. And the last suit of wands, which I'm hoping is going to have a lot of motion and movement because that's what this is, that's what fire is about. Two of wands, beautiful, fun, the world's turning, great touch. Good, lots of movement in the three of wands. Yeah, this, I mean, I'm hoping we're gonna keep the movement going with all of these. Lots of movement of a party happening. Very nice physical movement there. Wow, excellent. A nice battle happening. Cool. The sticks in the background moving as he walks past them. Nice. <laughs> you really feel that energy of those sticks beating at him. Yep, and then this one having the light move over them to show that they're all moving through the air. And this one does have more repose, so it's just a thing moving in the wind mostly. Yep. The wands do have a decent amount more movement. And Knight of Wands. Sexy, sexy Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Lots of little fire flares around her. This has a kind of Avatar vibe. And a King of Wands. Wow, love those sparkles. So that's the deck. This is how big it is. We're going to give it a shuffle. I imagine this is going to be quite a shuffle. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting deck to rifle because, I mean, I can barely hold it with both my hands. So I can shuffle like that. It's, it's heavy. It ain't subtle on its weight. Okay, and let's see if I can even rifle it. Let's just see. Oof, okay. All right, going in for the rifle. I just want to say it's a big it's a big enough deck. It's quite a thing. Now the, the cards are gonna fall, so I'm gonna turn this this way because I'm on an angle here. Alright, it's not a subtle. <laughs> it's it's definitely an awkward shuffle, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, the backs of the cards are beautiful. Cards themselves are pretty amazing. It's a unique deck, and they did a great job capturing the symbolism of the original. It's an awkward deck to hold, but you can also uh, figure out how to shuffle it. I also sometimes like to smoosh shuffle, where you just drop all the cards onto the table and smoosh them around. This might be a good deck for that, although I'm wondering if the plastic is going to become something of a... Um, so I'm trying to see if you can see where the, ah, okay, yeah, there it is, see? There's the plastic film. So it's not very thick. It's not going to change the thickness of the, of the deck. I'm going to keep the plastic film on <laughs> because I think that when you rifle them around, if the protective film is off, I think it's going to mess up your day and make it so that, the, that you might lose some animation effect or I don't know, not really sure, but I'm going to be, I'm not going to take mine off for now. Just like my oven, I wait till it gets all weird and gooey, and then I take the protective film off. <laughs> so that's the Fable Makers Tarot. Um, brilliant on some of the cards, subtle on others, but I think a unique special deck that is a neat part of anyone's collection. So glad that I purchased it, and um, I hope you consider following me on YouTube, subscribe to my page, ding the bell, and... Join my email list so you can hear from me once a week with my fun little uh, quips of, you know, guidance for the week. And go to Present Path Tarot to learn more. Thank you very much for joining, and have a lovely week.